Hi there, sign of Aries. This is Kim here to do your reading. I hope you guys are doing really great out there. Let's see. Let's light some Palo Santo. Okay, so the song that I was listening to right before your reading was um, Dana, California, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Mama was, Mama was a hippie. California, rest in peace. Simultaneous release. I'm your, you're my priestess. I'm your priest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Might have something to do with that. Uh, I'm your priestess. I'm your priest. Might have something to do with that. Mom was a hippie. No, 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 no. California, rest in peace. You're my priestess, I'm your priest. Yeah. Na 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 na. All right. And I love the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Goodness, that band. <laughs> I was listening to when I was young, um, like age 12 I can remember listening is it age 12 it's 12 or 13 it was uh, the under the bridge song I don't think I had any idea about really how deep that song was or what it was really even about but I loved it got into the groove with them get on top <laughs> get, get, get on top oh got a magician sword so we're calling all angels here for your reading. Confidence in your magic, Aries. Confidence in your magic. Mm, 37. Seven, the number seven might be significant because we have it twice here. 57 also. Unmarked trail, the revelation. Unmarked trail. Maybe you're just now realizing that you are the magician. It says confidence in your magic and that you are going on a, a trail or down a trail that nobody else has been before. Your ancestors have worked on many things that are giving you the lay of the land with ancestral wisdom. Hmm. Like they've got you to the point where you can stand on top of this mountain and it feels like the, the message is, so what do you do from here? What are you going to do from this spot? You know, they have um, mastered a lot of skills and passed them on to you. And so you have a lot to work with. You have the, as they say, the lay of the land, ancestral wisdom. 3435. Now we have that. Lost compass, getting back to integrity. Finding your way. Finding your way to your true north. And on the bottom, I have, oh, well, I'm your, you're my priestess. I'm your priest. Yeah. <laughs> Sky bridge, possibility for union. Hmm. Possibility for union popping up. What's this all about? So your ancestors have given you all of these gifts, all of these skills to be standing at the top of the mountain, which you are. And so they're saying, what direction are you going to go in? And remember, the direction is all yours. Getting back to who you really are, this magical being uh, wielding a magician's sword. Okay, we're going to use Dreams of Gaia. Let's see what else. Okay, the Eight of Wands. The Six of Wands. I'm going to put these in the upright, but I always interpret them the way that they're coming out. Okay, so, and it does, and it does not mean the opposite. Uh, when they're in the reverse, it can mean many things. But as a reader, it's going to mean something specific to you in whatever reading you're doing. Right? 
So I see this as the Six of Swords is a victory. I mean, wands. Shit, it's wands. I just saw them with their swords there. Sorry. And that person is holding the cup. This is a, a Leo energy. Sagittarius and Virgo energy that you have out here so far. Um, just to name off the energies. It doesn't mean that that's the actual sun sign that is in your life. It's just the attributes. So when you're finding your way or using your compass to go to your true north, you find victory. And kind of that's what it means, you know, in astrology anyway, is when you're going towards your north node, then you're going towards your purpose, you're going towards the place where you're living on your mm, highest timeline. Doesn't mean that any of those other experiences weren't like worthy of being experienced or it, it shouldn't take away anything from the south node, actually. So, <clears throat> the Six of Wands is praise and recognition from others, not just, um, not just yourself. It's winning. It's winning something for others. Being lifted, being praised, being recognized, put up like on a, on a high horse in a sense because you've earned it. So... The ancestral wisdom, lay of the land, and the eight of wands, to me is saying that there is some kind of communication that is mm, trying to come in. I'm actually going to pull another tarot card on that. Because it reminds me of communication that's trying to get to you. Uh, but for whatever reason, we have to figure out why... It hasn't come to you yet. Let's let's figure this out. Three of Cups, Celebration, Justice, Your Truth. Okay, so what is this about this uh, communication wanting to come in, this fiery communication wanting to come in? Needing to have more strength in your gifts and abilities, strength in the reverse, understanding your power, your power to build, exhibiting discipline as uh, spiritual strength. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Huh. This is about discipline, order, structure. It doesn't feel like a pause to me. Feels like a pause. Oh, okay. <laughs> because there are some choices that are clouding your vision or making things cloudy, not as clear for you. And so your choices, choosing wisely, that's what they're saying. There's some kind of happiness or success um, that will come in with uh, when you exhibit more discipline. What a blah message. I'm sorry. What a blah message. I mean, yes, discipline. That's good. That's great. Let me find, let me find out more about this here. Kipper deck. Pause. Either you're daydreaming too much. Or you're choosing things that clear the mind and, I mean, that don't clear the mind, that cloud the mind. Um, and they're saying your choices need to be picked better. Oh, I have the thief card. Some of the choices that you're making that lead you to being less disciplined are stealing time away from your celebration. Is what I'm getting. So you can take that as choices and anything that 
messes with um, the headspace. What else? What else? What else? The mature man in the reverse. A sudden wealth. It seems like something is going to come in. All right. It seems like sudden wealth is going to come in when you exhibit more confidence in your ability to build the strength of structure, order, and discipline. Um, giving you back a celebration, giving you back this energy of leading you to sudden wealth. Um, it has a lot to do with your choices. This is something kind of unknown that Spirit is telling you about, though. Um, expectation. All right, let's move forward, right? So then we have the Ten of Pentacles with the Unmarked Trail, Revelation. Unmarked Trail, Revelation, Ten of Pentacles. And the way that it was, was also suggesting that this is the path to that. Possibly haven't gotten it yet. Or haven't achieved what you would like your Ten of Pentacles to look like. Which is usually like wealth. Uh, generational wealth, wealth for the whole fam, you know. Success, the Six of Pentacles, cooperating with others, gift giving, reciprocity. The Om chant is coming out to me because of that. I don't know if you say Om. Maybe you do it in your head silently, you know, in meditation. Om can definitely get you connected with Source. So this is success, and you're on a trail that um, others haven't necessarily been on for this success. The hermit in reverse could mean that you're trying to find time to be by yourself, with yourself. Could mean that you're coming out of a hermit period where you have spent a lot of time reflecting, going inward. Uh, perhaps some of you have been cutting yourself off of social media for a little bit, um, maybe a few hours at a time. The hermit. Another ten of pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. It is what you're going towards. Yeah, okay. Then, well, they're encouraging me to say that. And that uh, normally that card doesn't always come out like this. But there's something about your trail. It is revolution, revolutionary in a sense. It's unmarked. It's You're pioneering it. Phew, and that's confirmation too. Um. But there is somebody that kind of wants to join you. It's not that their path is the same. It's just that they have experience with pioneering their own path, having to forge their own way. There's a feeling that I'm getting of like, and feeling like your family in the material isn't supporting you very much on this unmarked trail currently. And... That's why your ancestors are chiming in on the spirit realm, trying to say, like, that was, there. there's pieces of that that it's all part of the plan of what got you to this place. Um, so, kind of like, I guess it's like saying, don't feel so, don't feel like no one's wanting to help you or no one's supporting you. Look at it as more, you're needing some triggers or some pushes and pulls 
so that you can do your own individual thing and that there's something about that that was kind of needed um okay so back to the there some you're their priestess i'm your priest i wonder if you've even met this person yet i don't know they just they, this person this energy has experience with their own trail okay their own trail about having to pioneer something different circumstances um different reasons or different ways that they were led to pioneering something completely new but just i guess the main message is just know that your ancestors on the other side know that everything is part of the plan and they are definitely on your side whoa shit really and they are definitely on your side like <laughs> major is your confirmation <sighs> it's all part of the journey when you feel like things were holding you back they weren't holding your back they were actually there to push you forward again with the same type of message you don't have to be perfect this card is here about being dissatisfied because you're striving for perfectionism but it's all about like it's all about the journey Look at that, Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. So something kind of quite new, sorry about this mess, but something kind of quite new coming in. And it is all about the journey. Things that held you back, uh, held you back because it was part of the plan. That's not always the easiest uh, pill to swallow. What about the Magician Sword? perception yeah if you could perceive things from their side oh I, I just shouldn't skip over that by the way this is brand new opportunity you're forging it for yourself though it's like um making your own lane if there's not a lane you'll create it and you were meant made to be pushed into that position your percept so your perception could be changing when it comes to the magic that you're yielding um wielding yielding the magic that you're making. And I have the seven of wands. So being told to assert yourself. And in this deck, it's very much so about signs and synchronicities. In a way, you're coming across as the hero. Um, the person that can go passionately towards what it is that they want. Having movement, passion, and purpose. And it is all about your perception at this point. Two swords. Two swords. Um, looks like there's a major decision here, too. What else? Okay, it's to move away and withdraw your energy from something that doesn't serve you anymore because of the rebirth that is occurring. It feels like somebody or something is in alignment, isn't in alignment with your path. And so that's changing. So a rebirth. You'll continue on your path with you asserting yourself for your own signs, signs and synchronicities. But when it comes to this other energy, if it's not in alignment with you, which I'm just want to think, I want to say that, you listen, you're probably going to be forging your own path. And until you're on that path for a little while, that might be when you're the priestess meeting the priest or you're the priest meeting the priestess you get what i'm saying so i'm going to pull some oracle of genetic gifts i'm going to pull some angel number messages and we're going to wrap it up for today wow <laughs> dose x dose x <laughs> ancestral line older than earth because I have the old Twitter platform, so of course I put an X on it, right? Spiritual involvements or participations. The X with the, the circle around it, demonologist, entity banishing or removal. Clear sentience, clear feeling. And the spiritual herbalist, spiritual healer, healing rituals, and ancient wisdom. All right, Aries, angel number message. 20. Two, six, 
a nine. All right, so 30 on the bottom about being imaginative. 20 says you relate to others on almost a cosmic level. You're dedicated to building harmonious relationships of all kinds. Oh, wow, look at your chakras. They are lit up, lit up. You have the ability to persuade others to your view by gentle means. I am harmonious. Number nine, it's your compassion that makes you shine. You're devoted to helping the greater good. And you have a strong talent for speaking up for others. Your soul is most satisfied when you're being of service. Number nine says, I am compassionate. Um, and then number two, you have a great talent for finding solutions. Your intuitive, unbiased nature allows you to see all sides of any situation and advise others towards the most fair and beneficial outcome. I am diplomatic. Number six, I am nurturing. Your heart is your gift. You're a natural born nurturer and you have a great talent for helping and healing others. You are the epitome of self-sacrifice and a protector of those that you love. And it says, I am nurturing. I'm also going to pull an angel number message for you too, to close it out. I have weight. There is, see, there's that decision, the two, two swords coming across. A peaceful resolution. Just wait a little bit. There is no need to worry. There is no need to worry. And yes, underneath that. So that's what I got for you, Aries. I'm sending you much love. Like and subscribe if you need a private reading. That is in the description box below. Thanks, guys. Bye.